Have you ever noticed that two people can look at the same object and perceive it differently? Perception is the process by which we interpret and organize sensory information to create meaning in our environment. In this section, we will explore the fascinating world of perception and attention. Perception is the process of interpreting sensory information to form a mental representation of the world. It is a complex process that involves many different parts of the brain. The first step in perception is sensation. Sensation is the process of receiving sensory information from the environment. The five senses are sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. These senses allow us to detect different types of stimuli, such as light, sound, pressure, taste, and smell. The second step in perception is transduction. Transduction is the process of converting sensory information into neural signals. The neural signals are then transmitted to the brain. The third step in perception is processing. Processing is the process of interpreting the neural signals and forming a mental representation of the world. The mental representation is what we perceive. Perception is a subjective process. This means that our perception of the world is influenced by our past experiences, our expectations, and our emotions. For example, if we are expecting to see a friend, we are more likely to perceive a stranger as looking like our friend. This is because our expectations influence how we interpret the sensory information that we receive. Perception is also an active process. This means that we do not simply passively receive sensory information. We actively interpret the information and make sense of it. For example, if we see a red light, we do not simply see a red light. We interpret the red light as a signal to stop. This interpretation is based on our knowledge of the world and our understanding of traffic signals. Perception is a complex and important process. It allows us to interact with the world around us and to make sense of the information that we receive. Attention is the process by which we select and focus on certain stimuli in our environment while ignoring others. It is essential for perception, as it helps us filter out irrelevant information and focus on what is important. Attention is the process of selectively focusing our awareness on a particular stimulus or task. It is a limited resource, and we can only attend to a few things at a time. There are three main types of attention. This is the type of attention that we use when we are trying to concentrate on a single task or stimulus. For example, if you are trying to read a book, you need to focus your attention on the words on the page in order to understand them. This is the type of attention that we use when we are trying to be aware of our surroundings. For example, if you are walking down the street, you need to use diffuse attention to be aware of cars, pedestrians, and other potential hazards. This is the type of attention that we use when we need to filter out irrelevant information and focus on the information that is important. For example, if you are in a crowded room and you are trying to have a conversation with someone, you need to use selective attention to block out the noise of the other people in the room. Attention is a complex process that involves many different parts of the brain.
The frontal lobes are responsible for planning and decision making, and they play a role in focused attention. The parietal lobes are responsible for spatial awareness, and they play a role in diffuse attention. The temporal lobes are responsible for hearing and language, and they play a role in selective attention. There are a number of things that you can do to improve your attention. These include Getting enough sleep When you are sleep deprived, your attention is impaired. Make sure to get at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. Exercising regularly. Exercise helps to improve blood flow to the brain, which can improve attention. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Eating a healthy diet. Eating a healthy diet provides your brain with the nutrients it needs to function properly. Make sure to eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Reducing stress. Stress can impair attention. Find healthy ways to manage stress, such as exercise, meditation, or yoga. Taking breaks. When you are working on a task, take frequent breaks to give your brain a chance to rest. Get up and move around, or step outside for some fresh air. Learning new things. Learning new things can help to keep your brain active and engaged, which can improve attention. Try learning a new language, taking a class, or reading a book. Attention is a vital part of our cognitive function. It allows us to focus on the task at hand and to filter out irrelevant information. By improving our attention, we can improve our productivity, our learning, and our overall quality of life. So next time you look at an object or hear a sound, take a moment to reflect on how your perception and attention are shaping your experience of the world around you. With a better understanding of perception and attention, we can improve our ability to navigate and thrive in our complex and dynamic environment.